we assess postural fatigue syndrome or any neck and upper back pain is a combination of things. First, we just look at general position. So while we're doing the interview, uh, the history taking, we look at your posture and generally how you're sitting, uh, as well as how you transition from sitting to standing and so forth um, to see what's typical for you. Um, furthermore, we take you through uh, a range of motion evaluation. So we would just have you flex as far uh, down as you can. Good. Try to get your chin to your chest. Good. And then as far back. So these are just a few of the motions that we'll take you through back to neutral, please. So we would check your neck range of motion. Now let's have you check your thoracic position. So I'm going to have you hug yourself just like this. And now without moving your shoulders, I want you, or your head, I just want you to slouch down like this as far as you can. And we would just check to see if that caused any pain here. And same thing, come on back as far as you can. Back, 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 back. Good. Great. And then back to neutral. Then we would check lateral flexion and rotation, a whole bunch of movements. Then we check to see is any of your pain coming from your shoulder movement. So without moving your head or your back, we want you to retract your scapula. Now protract forward like that. Now back to neutral, bring them as high up as you can, and then back down. Good, just like that. And then we would take them through a whole series of shoulder motions to see, do any of those also create some of the pain that you're experiencing? So we have to differentiate between neck and head, thoracic spine, as well as shoulder to figure out where is the pain coming from because there's a lot of muscles sandwiched on top of each other. So that's just the range of motion. We would check your neurology. So check the nerves to see how they are functioning throughout the neck as well as uh, in the spine. Do muscle testing as well as deep tendon reflexes and so forth. Um, and sensory to see if you're getting any referred pain. Uh, we have to check trigger points in the muscles because sometimes, for instance, the scalenes can refer into the chest, uh, into the upper back, or all the way down the arm. Problem is, is also the nerves can do the same thing. So we have to differentiate, is that a muscular problem or a neurological uh, compression? So once we've, we've done that, then we will start the movement assessments. So we'll take you through a McKinsey evaluation, which is a group of movements trying to figure out what movements make you feel better and which ones make you feel worse. So in this scenario, let's say you're having upper back, uh, right-sided upper back or neck pain, I would have uh, Tate bring his head down like this and go ahead and grab the back of your head and pull it towards your left armpit. So we would stretch that area and have him hold that for a bit just to see is that going to make him feel better or worse after. Then come on back. So after doing that, then we would check his range of motion to see is, is there any difference. Then we'll take you through some other mobilizations where I'd have him retract like this. Perfect. And I would have you come a little bit towards your right just like that good hold for two seconds and then back like that and then repeat retract back and push in go a little bit toward his right side perfect so i'd have him do 10 of those and again just to see does this make him feel better or worse and with that then we can decide is this series of movements good for you or bad for you so lastly but certainly not least we'll take you through a selective functional movement assessment sfma and that assessment is a global approach looking at neck, shoulder, hip, leg, basically whole body function to figure out what does the big picture look like. Is one area creating constraints or tension pain uh, that is basically causing pain elsewhere? And so with all of that together, uh, we can then come up with a solid diagnosis and then treatment plan.